anything you set your mind to. If you guys watched the ending of my last video, it was five minutes ago from me starting this clip. <laughs> I'm really bad at ending vlogs on the same day. If you guys started a YouTube channel or if anyone has one, let me know if you find it difficult to like finish up a vlog. Or like, I don't know. Sometimes I have them all planned out and then I just kind of like forget to actually end it. It's just, it's just a hard thing for me. I don't know, like I can do the whole thing and then forget to end it. So we just ended the last one. Thanks for watching that video. If you have, if you haven't already, go check it out. But regardless, we're starting a new video today. It is a beautiful day. It's Saturday and we have a fun day planned ahead. Do you have my six week challengers finishing their six weeks of challenge workouts today. I do have to do that later on and congratulate all of them, send them on their way, and hopefully a few of them will be continuing on with me for the next one. But aside from that, today we're spending the day running around DC, kind of like we did the other day, but doing, doing some different stuff. It's beautiful out here, apparently. It's not LA, but it's still nice here. <laughs> Everybody watches up. Brian's videos. This is how he does it. Top secret. If you're a Brian DaCosta fanboy, this is how. <laughs> fanboy. Wrap it around. If you're a subscriber of Brian's, phone. this is like what he does in every video. Oh, yeah, this is your cell phone holder. Yeah. And then the tripod. There you go. I'll link it in the description of my bit. I'm not as fancy as him. I don't really do that fancy shit. Do you guys like. What do you like better for workouts? I know a lot of people like unedited stuff, but most people come for value and information. Like I personally really like the combination of really cool edit plus informational kind of like voiceover type stuff. That's like what I what I like the best. It's like what I like watching personally as well. So we are headed to the gym. That's what we're gonna do for this video. That's what I wanted to. That's what I like doing. Another thing too I wanted to kind of talk about, um, someone commented on one of my previous videos saying that they missed when I did certain things months ago or like a few like whatever a while back on YouTube and I know that a lot of people might be coming to my videos for a certain reason and then they don't necessarily like if I do or talk about certain things because they don't relate to them as much because like you go to people's YouTube channels and you want to get something out of them right um, but for the creator when you're creating content based off of like what you think people want as opposed to like, obviously I'm constantly asking you guys for feedback, right? Like I'm, people comment on my stuff and they're like, I wanna see this, this and this. And I'm like, okay, great, I'll totally do that. But if I'm only doing things based off of that and I'm not doing them because that's what I wanna put out, it's kind of just like a sad way to live, honestly. So I always like sharing information and I love that part of my channel and I love that you guys love that as well. But I never wanna get away from like doing what, I, putting out what I wanna put out. like the business stuff, like I know some people like that, some people don't care at all, and then the informational fitness stuff, some people like that, some people don't care at all, like for other people, my friends and stuff, like I personally don't watch any informational workouts because I don't feel like I need them or want to watch them, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna put out what I wanna put out and I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's uh, preach. how I, that's how I, <laughs> preach, amen. <laughs> that's how I like going about putting together my videos and that's how you guys should do it too if you guys want to create content, you shouldn't just kind of, obviously you need to think about what people want, what your audience wants to see, um, how you can provide value to people, but don't just do things because you think people will want to see them or it's worked for somebody else. As soon as you, you start doing, you. as soon as you start doing something that's unnatural to you and you think it's because other people are doing it, you're seeing them do it, I think you've already lost. You have to, it has to be a balance between what you want to do and trying stuff that's new, but it also is true to your identity, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Does that makes sense. of what I did in the Training Differently video with Coach PJ Nessler. I'm trying to do the single arm kneeling kettlebell 
backwards, whatever it was called. There's no kettlebell that's light enough for me, which is sad, but like doing light weight with these is actually pretty difficult. So we're just gonna do it with a regular dumbbell. But what you guys can do is really focus on going slowly and controlled, and you'll be surprised how much light weight can feel like heavy weight when you're doing it really correctly. That's a big thing, making sure you're doing it so right that light weight feels like heavy weight. And we're also doing the kettlebell upright row, uh, kettlebell single arm row with the leg up to stabilize the core and I was just writing an Instagram, oh by the way, the workout's over. So anyways, I was just writing an Instagram caption post-workout and I realized I literally have two weeks left until I start my cut. Ooh. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm kind of ready, but like, food. I'm gonna talk about a few phases. I was just telling Brian. But food. <laughs> but food. <laughs> There's a few phases that happen when cutting in phase one, the first like three weeks of a cut or like a diet phase. It sucks, but I'm prepared. I think I'm ready. Lots of actually things that I'm gonna be doing during the cut that in terms of like travel and adventure wise, it will be difficult to do all those things during a cut, but I have traveled to 14 different cities while on bikini prep, so I can do whatever I need to do. Get workouts in, getting macros all tracked 100% or 90% because this is like a, a not super, super strict cut. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys like a sort of balance that I'm gonna create in terms of like not doing a bikini prep strict yes. cut, but it's still like a cutting phase is a cutting phase. It's really not that much different than a bikini prep. There's actually just like slightly more of a reason to not stay on track really when you're not doing a bikini prep or like a bodybuilding prep or something like that. Um, and also you just don't, you don't extend it further. Like there's really no difference to be completely honest. Anyways, we're headed back to Brian's, gonna take a shower probably and then get ready for the rest of the day. Have a good workout. Oh yeah. Great chest day. You don't diet, do you? What is dieting? Brian's never dieted. I eat healthy though. Yeah. And I track my calories until the end of the day. <laughs> until the end of the day? <laughs> and then it's just no rules. Brian will be putting up his transformation video. You better get on that. I've been telling you to do that for like two months I have now. been, I've been compiling. Compiling. A it's transformation. Gonna be epic. I know. I'm excited for it. Just explaining how he got to looking the way he is now. He can run for miles. He's strong AF and he's shredded AF. All naturally. For you trolls who think he's not. <laughs> I can't wait for the steroid comments. Uh, it's gonna be great. He's like he's like the 2017 Matt Ogan. <laughs> Ordered myself some. Voila, final product, spinach, extra broccoli, potatoes, chicken, guac, and some salsa. Look at the flick at Aries. Look at the flick at Aries. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> this is like my dream right now. This adorable puppy and this adorable puppy. We had, hope so cute. we had hope before she was trendy. Are you guys surprised <laughs> though? <laughs> I just go. You're back walking around DC again today. It's just as beautiful as yesterday, except slightly more warm. Like 75 degrees today. I don't think it's been like that in California in a while, too. So. It's gorgeous out today, there's puppies. Everywhere. <laughs> and people are here to see all the cherry blossoms in DC, which only bloom once a year, is that what it is? Once a year for, for two weeks. If that, like it's like, yeah, like a week and a Maybe half. Maybe like a weeks. week and a half, yep. and I happen to be here during that lovely week. So there's thousands of people here to literally look at some trees. We are we are a part of those people. So. We are.
We came to see this thing. I'm gonna get the name of it in just a minute because I forget how exactly to say it. So essentially it opens at 10. If you get here at 9, they potentially give you a ticket. You have to pre-buy tickets, but <laughs> holy shit, this line, there's no fucking way we're getting in. No fucking way. It's all the way back there. And then all the way. <laughs> There is an end, but it's it's, it's like a mile away. <laughs> Ridiculous! What's the thing called? I, I told them that I forgot what what the name of it is. Um, it's the Here's Shorn. Here's Shorn. It's the Infinity, Infinity Mirrors. Mirrors. So if you went to that, congratulations, because we didn't. <laughs> we tried. Daryl said he walked up and made it. So what? how'd you do it? Anyway, we're gonna go get breakfast and coffee instead. What's going on guys? I just want to talk to you about something that happened this weekend to me and to a lot of other people It's kind of just like a little bit of a realization for me and now I have this YouTube platform that I love just sharing insights with you guys with whether it's about fitness business just like my life I think just like things that we think about and go through are so applicable to so many different people that having a platform and just like being able to share a message is so powerful that um, I mean, I read it every single time in my comment section, like, if I say something that I feel like I'm kind of just, like, struggling with or going through or making a realization of, like, I'm literally just going through life with you guys, and I don't know everything, I'm not an expert at everything, but I just try to be as self-aware as possible, and Brian and I were talking about this uh, this weekend that YouTube kind of just keeps us accountable as people, because... We're showing, I'm showing my life to you guys, right? So I'm showing you guys what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what's going on. If something goes wrong, you guys are gonna be seeing it because that's just like part of my life now. And I don't feel obligated to do that, but I do enjoy it because it kind of just keeps me accountable. Like there's constantly like, there's backlash, there's criticism, there's haters, but there's also supporters, there's also lovers and friends and like people that are just so amazingly into what I'm doing and into what I'm saying because it connects to them so much. And I think that helps me just keep accountable as a person, making sure that I'm aware of what my intentions are, aware of how I'm coming across to people. And I think it just kind of makes me like a better person overall, being able to kind of just like put myself out there. Like this is kind of like a, a positive spin on YouTube haters, I guess you could say, or just people that are giving criticism or have different opinions than me or have different feelings or thoughts about what I'm doing, about what I'm saying, um, about whatever I'm putting out there. People that like kind of push back at me because I don't really sometimes always realize what I'm doing and saying. And although I always constantly have the best intentions possible, it helps me stay accountable as a person. And I think it's really important. And I think that showing people what I do and how I feel a lot of the time is is a good way to kind of help people be aware of what they're doing and feeling as well, if that makes any sense to you guys. So like I said before, something that I was going through this weekend was my applications for my mentorship program. There were a lot of people that were feeling the same fear of the, the reason why they haven't started building their brand or building what they want to do or just jumping full force into their passion because I literally got a thousand applications, 1,000. Like, I think it was about like 890 last time I checked and I don't know if people still started applying and stuff like that, but my assistant and I went through so many of them and like a recurring theme was just people being scared of what other people would think. People being worried about what the backlash would be and people wanting to put themselves out there, but number one, being scared because they don't know whether or not it's gonna be completely perfect. They wanna put their 100% all into it and like have it be really good before they even start. And they're also just kind of like worried about what their peers would think, worried about what people would think about them. And I remember feeling that way too. I remember feeling like, I remember specifically in college, I made my Amanda Bucci Fit Instagram because I didn't want people in college making fun of me for me posting about fitness and it's scary. <laughs> it's always scary. It's still scary for me to put myself out there and to do something new and to put myself out there in a way that I haven't shown people before. It's like this mentorship program was something new to me. I've never done it before. And there's gonna be backlash, but at the end of the day, there's always going to be backlash. There's always going to be, like no matter what you do in your life, no matter what you're pursuing, it's gonna be new, it's gonna be scary, there's gonna be people that don't like it, there's gonna be people that feel insecure about what you're doing, there's gonna be people that might not feel like you're doing it with the best intentions because of whatever insecurities they have inside themselves. But at the end of the day, 
you know what your intentions are and you know what you want to do and if you kind of dig deep down and ask yourself like what do I really want this for what do I really want to make a lot of money for what do I really want to start a YouTube channel for what do I really want out of a new career something that like you're pursuing your passion for what do you really want out of that and if it's money if it's fame if it's followers if it's likes if it's subscribers if it's popularity then then you might get some backlash but you'll also kind of just not be fulfilled in your life but if you're doing it with well intentions if you're doing it for changing the world if you're doing it because you even if like I always say I want to change the world and some people are like you're not an expert at anything how are you gonna change the world blah 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 I'm changing people's lives like I'm sorry if you guys don't maybe not you guys I'm sorry to like kind of generalize as well this is like me staying accountable here this is like I'm kind of trying to think about what I'm gonna say based off of like what I think potential comments would be some backlash so I don't mean to say you guys I'm not talking down to you I'm not trying to make you feel like inferior just because I'm talking to you or at you whatever regardless there's some people that may say that like Amanda why are you trying to change the world you're not gonna change anybody by making YouTube videos and posting pictures like selfies in the gym but I am I have been I have changed a lot of people's lives and so have a lot of other YouTubers, so have a lot of other celebrities, so have a lot of other people that have a voice, that have a platform. Like, I have built that. There's people that follow me here, and I have a responsibility. And what I say and what I do does make a difference in people's lives. I, I don't, like, take that for granted. I don't think that it makes me superior to anybody. I don't think that that gives me any sort of, like, power over anybody else. But I do think it's powerful. I do think that people that have voices should use them for a good cause. So when I say I wanna change the world and I wanna change the way people think, I wanna have these conversations. I want to kind of break through the norm. I kinda of don't wanna just like go through life and go through like my YouTube channel and put out things that are just kind of like the status quo. Like I kinda of wanna push the boundaries a little bit and make people think differently about things and make people think differently about themselves and empower you to feel like you can do anything you set your mind to, regardless of what your situation is. There are things that you can do out there that will change the way other people think as well. And if you wanna be one of those people that's gonna have a voice, then you just have to start. You have to not be scared of what other people are going to say about you, to you, whatever. I get it constantly. So many other celebrities get it constantly. So many other YouTubers get it constantly. Um, regardless of what you say and you put out there, you might get some backlash, but don't let that stop you because your voice is powerful. You. Like, why not you? <laughs> you have a purpose here. And those thousand people that apply to my program clearly want to show other people what their purpose is and what their message is. And I think that's super important. So don't give up, keep going, keep pushing, keep grinding, guys. I did pick a select few people and it might not be as many as I thought it was going to be only because it's like my first run of this and I just really want it to be good and I want to get some really big transformations for people, so. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be vlogging it and stuff like that. So this is just me kind of rambling. This clip went on for a really long time. I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next video. And I don't know how to end things still on YouTube. This mirror is cool. I'll catch you guys in the next one. That didn't work. <laughs>